Now I have in the studio this young man called Kwame Eugene. First, this segment of this show we've termed the Damascus experience. Mm -hmm. Here we throw spotlights on Christian celebrities, you know, yeah. people who love God and have the work of God at heart and they are doing their various professions. So we put spotlights on them mm -hmm. and we try to discover their personal experience, how they encountered the man Jesus Christ. You know, so we want to find out from you, from you, Kwame Eugene, how did you start? How did you meet Jesus Christ? And pe people, people even think that some of you guys don't even go to church. Because yeah. so you do mm, mm, um, mm, high life and stuff. So, you mm, go to mm. so yeah. now take us briefly through that. Share with us how you encountered the man Jesus Christ so we can continue. Okay, fortunately for me, mm. um, I, I, I would say I was born into Christ. Um, I was born into the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Father Makar's congregation, and I've been a part of Presby since I was a kid. Mm. I joined children's service. That is where um, um, I learned how to play most of the instruments I play. And I've been part of the church choir for a very long time. Mm. I've been singing since I was a kid in the church, from children's service to JY, from JY to YPG, mm. and, and I'm still there today. So you can tell I was born into it inside Fadama mm -hmm. when I was young. Um, my mom and dad are not from Presby. Mm -hmm. They don't church at Presby. Mm -hmm. But because the church was close to me, and, and they normally do this um, convention, youth gathering and stuff and i thought i was I, I, it, it became part of me because i wasn't in the church but i i always wished to go because mm. it was a nice experience you enjoyed See, the children of god yes. coming together Meeting, uh, you know singing all singing, those kids songs all those yeah <laughs> presbyterian hymns and stuff yeah it, it, it was just a nice one so I, I told myself why can't i be part of this mm. and and i told my mom that i want to go to presby she was like, okay, cool, I'll take you there. So she took me to Presby and rode me children's service. Mm. So she, she, she takes me to church every Sunday. Mm. Then she goes to church and come for me before mm. uh, we go back home. Okay. You get it. So it became part of me learning the Bible, um, always going to church, singing the hymns. And I, I became part of Christianity. And since then, it's been part of me. And I enjoy being a Christian because I believe in Christianity. Awesome. So, currently, which church do you fellowship with? Currently, I'm still a Presbyterian. You're still a Presbyterian? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm that lawyer. Have you been baptized? <laughs> yeah. You were baptized into the same church? Yeah. Okay, so, okay, tell us, week, where did you school? Where, where, where did you start? You know, you're, how old are you now? I'm 21. 21. So, how, how your youthful, I mean, your basic education and everything is through that? Um, I, I I schooled from basic education. I was in, and fortunately for me, yeah, let me just say this: I've been through mission school all my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trust me, mission school all my life. Since primary, I was in the Presbyterian school inside Dakuma. Mm. From class one to class six, I was enrolled in another school, which is a mission school. It's a, uh, it's a Methodist school. Mm. Since Mark Methodist School. You are real orthodox. Yeah. <laughs> From there, SHS, I finished at, uh, um, I, I started SHS at Salvation Army Senior High School, mm. which is another mission school. Mm. And from there, I got enrolled in another school in Accra, mm. but that one is not a mission school. So, and that was, that's where I completed. And from there, I joined um, a media house that teaches um, sound engineering and music production. But I was too busy, so my tertiary level was a bit quite quick. I did a diploma, studied music, mm. and I started a studio of my own. Mm -hmm. Started producing songs, mm. started putting an, a, a gospel album together. Mm. And Oh, you mean you put a gospel album together? Yeah, I have gospel songs out there. When you, when you go to Kwame Eugene, you know, uh, I think Eugene Marfo, yeah, my, my actual name, you see most of our gospel I'm going songs. to be hitting one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but hold on, how old were you and you started putting gospel, not a song, but gospel album together? I was like... 18 years. 18 years? Yeah, yeah. And you could compose? So could you started compose actually produce, composing? Produce those, uh, the so songs which, which the instruments were you playing by then? By then, I could play a guitar, I could play the drums, play the trumpet, 
play the bass guitar, lead guitar, keyboard. I can actually play anything I get my hands on. I'm, I'm just favorite. This is amazing. So how did you get all these talent at once? One person, you can actually play all these instruments and at the same time you can write and you've got a fantastic voice too. Yeah, I think it's because God is good. One and two, it's because I dedicated half of my life, like let me say 80% of my life for music. Since I was a kid and the Eugene you see today, I've dedicated my life for music. And I've been around music for a very long time. If I don't know, I sit down, I Google it, I learn. So I, I've been learning all my life. That's why I know a lot. So who, who actually picked your hands and placed them on certain instruments? Who did that? I think it's God. Because no one, no one taught me how to play the keyboard, the guitar. Oh, you are kidding me. Champs, yeah. Because, yeah. I, I learned to play the keyboard and I could play it much better, but I didn't even know the keys I was playing. So, one man once told me that, okay, this is C, this is D, this is C sharp, this is B flat, this is, yeah, before I, I started learning that one. But you tried your hand, you were actually playing chords, but yeah, you did it, not even know what you it, were playing. It wasn't a one time something. It, it took me like a week to play a chord. Mm. Yeah, but because it was dedication and with the help of God, I mean, I, I, I can listen to do. And, and figure me far and put it together to give you a chord for C. Mm. You get it. But I didn't know the names of it. So I, I needed to put them together when it sounds good. Mm. I know that, okay, um, F comes before the three black keys mm -hmm. and C comes before the two black keys that I didn't even know F, but I was playing it. So someone told me, okay, this is actually F, this is C, this is C sharp, this is B flat, this, yeah. And I put it together and I'm here today. And today, this is who we have here yeah, yeah. a rock star. And rocks the hell away. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, in a bit, I want you to see a lot of people did not witness the the awesome performance that you put up at the Paris Dome on Friday night. Mm -hmm. And aside that, most people don't even know that you are a mission house boy. Yeah. That you have this crazy love for God. Of course I do. Even before high life or mm -hmm. you know what you are doing now. Yeah. So in a bit, I want you to place your hands on this black and white keys. Mm -hmm. And in a few minutes, lift my listeners who are the youth of today following Christ and they want to hear you lifting your voice and placing your hands on these keys. Can you be able to do that? Of course, of course. <laughs>
why are people saying that I mean you guys are not godly? The entire Uncle Four Phil say, um, your, your kind of your kind of um, <coughs> love for the music you're doing isn't godly. Why do you think people say so? Um, I think people can't church. We we can't say it's, it's not godly because uh, I mean any godly I'm coming because I'm not making me money. And I underline the fact that there's a God somewhere who needs to speak for me when I when I'm in need. Um, and the if you have having food today, I go go sky, so soon I go I go go there. It means there is some heaven, and there is some God sitting on His throne there. And see, most of the songs we sing has gospel in it. Mm. But the thing is, people don't understand the meaning of worldly music and gospel. Mm. I think said. There is there is no such thing as worldly music. Cause mm. Gospel, no joy, uh, joy is blessing. No, but we are saying, "Man, go to heaven." Mm -hmm. You get it. Mm -hmm. So the bread will too. We are saying, "Man, go heaven." Mm -hmm. But um, what makes some of the songs so bad? Ne say, uh, our people tell it as uh, God uh, worldly music. Ne say, mm. sometimes people go extreme. Mm. Yeah, and um, Sometimes it's understandable because people will go extreme. You're yeah, humans, mm. and you're yeah, nani yeah, mm. People will go extreme to to make money. People will go extreme to be be famous. People will go extreme to be popular. People will go extreme to get to some level. Mm. But I have a feeling that if you have um, um God, the hand of God on whatever you're doing, yes, um, yeah, um, um bad publicity. Mm -hmm. You don't need to attack somebody. You don't need to hurt anybody. You don't need to lead the youth into darkness and sana you become as big as you want to be you get it and you know some of us me per se i barely see and you may be a woman you know you i bet they say but we can't see the emphasis on this you get it and see most of me me know or more the psychography was sorry wish me were the psychography was sorry okay so let me come there then then the man who are a sorry demo Mm -hmm. The Perez Chapel is not a national theater. That's it. It's not a conference center. Mm -hmm. You went into that auditorium, ministering in the presence of God's children, and you, you ministered that song, Wish Me Well. Yeah. Is that song a gospel? Because people are actually lambasting you and saying that that's blasphemous for you to stand in the presence of God and sing such a secular song in church. That's blaspheming for them to stand in front of God and say that and judge that um, there, is, there is a particular song that uh, people don't deserve to listen. I mean, say, who could you not show them now? Because I'm not going to be mommy. Now, Obi has said, Oh boy, Jamai. Ejina, baby, you're not going to be mommy. I have a feeling that we are speaking to one God. And since there is something powerful coming out of whatever she's saying, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be mommy. 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 I'm not going to be he didn't come for those who are already complete. If you are complete, you don't need God. And it says that the church is a hospital for sinners as well. That's it. I mean, that is where healing is supposed to take place. Mm. That is where salvation is supposed to take place. Mm. And he said, you exempt some, some people from entering the house of God. Mm. Or in the name of Abrahubi, our film. And then, mm. 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 it is so bad in the sight of God. I have a feeling mm. that, I mean, we shouldn't discriminate. And, and who are you? Mm -hmm. I mean, where do you stand? Where is your position to say that? Mm -hmm. Okay, and the other way is there's a, there's a hook in the song that says that if you wish me well, I wish you well. Okay, the Bible and, says... And, 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 and it looks like you are you're actually comparing that to an eye for an eye. And so if the person doesn't wish you well, you also not wish the person well. No, the Bible says, uh, God told Moses that I bless who I want to bless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It means uh, even sometimes crack. When I was out in your prayer, no, it's not even close to God. Because mm. he chooses to bless who he wants to bless. Yes. Do you get it? And and No, I were you trying to say that if the person doesn't wish you well, you also don't wish the person well? Um Yes. This song um Namata Umfudo Sunday Nara Oh we ready the Bajimi Nadi Messi What a bank is in a see there's a portion that's saying that uh, that says my own satrine no ni me free my time fun sem and yeah my was she shenina dan no yen she ba mammy mm-hmm many many no yes mau to me no bomb 
Ema minye sobu tentima. Hey. Yeah. But I mean, if you are saying this to God, so person will yet say obu tentima. Mm. Why do you have to wish someone evil? Then I have a feeling, so far as I we a Christian, no? mm. wherever you find yourself, mm. it should be your wish that every single thing that comes out of your mouth should win a soul. Mm. So that is why you should see whatever that comes out of your mouth. Because the Bible says, you take your mouth to send Okay. Your, 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 your senior brother, Morris Babyface, mm -hmm. just splash something on his Facebook page and say, hey, you belong to the church, so go back to church. You, you belong to God's kingdom. He said that. Yes, on his Facebook and timeline. He says, it. get back to church because that's where you belong. Where what would church? you say to I'm this? In church. Uh, well, I was in church you, are doing, you are doing secular music. Let's mm -hmm. be very plain about it. You are yeah. doing secular. You are not doing gospel music. Why did you not stick to gospel music and you decided to, to do secular music? I'm doing good music because there is love in the Bible. Mm. When you read the Bible, there is, you can underline lots of love in the Bible. And, and the Bible says without love, you can't see the Lord God our Savior. Mm. It means love conquers all. Mm -hmm. And if you have love, you have everything. Mm -hmm. So, that is why I do music that speaks about love. Mm. Do you get it? Mm. I mean, God is so wise that when he created Adam, he added Eve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, the, 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 I mean, there is Cain, there is Abel, there, there is Adam, there is Eve. Mm. People need people. And I mean, what should be between us is love. Do you get it? And without love, supposing we are all singing about how God should help, how God should help, mm. how God should help, mm. how God should solve our problems, how God should fight for us. We are not talking about love. There is no love in this world. Mm. 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 I mean, the entire Imagine entire, how the world would be like. The entire embodiment of the gospel mission is about love. Yeah. Love for God and love for mankind. You get it. But you could have still stayed in there and do gospel anyway. No, what I'm doing is not evil music. I'm still saying... I'm still underlying love in my music. Mm -hmm. The fact that... And you, so you I think say, that is gospel? No, it's not gospel. Uh -huh. But how do you call but that? But it's not evil music. It's good music. I mean, love puts you call together. That when you music. read Solomon, yes. the books of Solomon, yeah? yes. It has lots of love in it. Yes. That if I say I read it right now, you say hey, but it's in the Bible. Okay, but people watch your music videos and all these. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm know. not kissing anybody in the video. I'm not doing bad stuff in the video. That's why I'm, I keep saying, I keep emphasizing on the fact that yes. so far as the content of the music is not leading people to evil. Mm -hmm. It is not leading people to hell. Mm. As we say, it is not leading people to um, 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 exhibit the life of profanity. Because mm. I'm speaking about love. I'm speaking about how much you can love a partner. Mm. So if, if, if we don't want to talk about it, then we shouldn't get married. Okay. Yeah, because... You think so? Yeah. If we don't if we don't want to... These songs uh, actually can be allowed to be sung in churches. Which songs? The kind of songs you A are song doing? like Confusion. Like Angela. Angela. Angela is a perfect song. People sing Angela in a church every day. And it's really? not bad. Really? I've seen videos of that. And I've seen weddings, people playing, and, and they are, I've seen a pastor with his wife, mm. and the song they were dancing to was Angela, which is perfect. Mm. Because, I mean, sometimes, maybe, let's say, you can't say everything to your wife, mm -hmm. but let the music speak for you. Okay. Um, um, anywhere you day, I go there, there. Mm. my sherry, cocoa, my one, and if you be car, you want, I go hustle. So if you take my heart, baby, car, we go. If you think I will leave you, God, for I'm not leaving you. Um, this, these are good words you can loyalty. actually say to your wife. Okay. That this, you, you want to be loyal to him. Mm. But maybe sometimes you don't have the words for mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So let me borrow Kwame Eugene's words. Yeah, for my wife. And then you it do that. Bad. It's not bad. And you know. it, is, it is so... And I can imagine when you are alone in bed and you're having a romantic time with your wife and you want to play the kind of day you are going to play. Yeah, good to go. Yeah, and, and you have your wife. Ah, ah, Charlie, you go turn line, down. You go turn down. You are ready to marry your wife and your proposal <laughs> you song You go turn down. Is, your proposal song is... Uh, <laughs> your, your proposal song to your wife is... Yeah, me one century. Can you imagine? My they go turn down. The whole thing go turn down. Yeah, you you must have her mood. For us, we are excited that you have been able to package our music and you are exporting it yeah. to the rest of the world. Then yeah, I have a feeling you, you, you can you can be big. You can go far. Mm. You can be whoever you want to be mm. without messing up yourself. Mm. That is that is that is one reason why I, I came to perform at Adam Place. 
you you can be a clean person yet you do music for people to enjoy mm. you, you you there is no term as because you do hard life music or hip life music you are too evil that you can't be associated mm. with any christian that's that's bad exactly like exactly that. this is nanajiman uh, on on facebook he says uh, but you and kiddie should try and change these lines in your songs like if you leave me i go die like how are you gonna die for someone that does not love you <laughs> Okay, and this one is for me now, Brooke. I'm watching you live, but try and do gospel songs, okay? Kwame. I have heaven. Okay, we'll be closing with heaven. <laughs> but do more. Mm. I mean, we need you more. Really we need you more. Cool. Uh, you know, th there are a lot of gospel followers of yours. A mm -hmm. lot of them. You know, so I was surprised. You know, the, the song that actually got people screaming was Wish Me Well. Wish Me Well. Because eh? let's put everything aside. The song actually speaks for people. You know, sometimes it is good to relax from. Um, um, whatever you are going through mm. and realize that you have someone fighting for you mm. it makes the battle easy mm. so when I started everyone was screaming and they were singing it because mm. mm. it, mm. it is time mm. that mm. Mm. yeah you should feel free and whatever you stand mm. you get it I don't have to turn my music mm. as and, and the um, music just the people of, uh, of God can just enjoy it mm. and, and someone standing outside who is willing to tell God mm. to speak for him. Okay. Um, he is she's not going to be able to say it because mm. we say this is worldly music, this is gospel music. Mm. So um um the good side of what I'm doing is wherever you find yourself, yes, whether you are in a club or you are in a church, mm. you can still say your make you mama when you need him. Amen. Amen. A lot of people are watching you on Facebook. Um exe um uh, Pep Junior, um, Kwame Dazi, and a whole lot of people mm -hmm. watching you. Uh, this is from Dan Lati. Uh, Libili, Libi Laba. He used in the song Confusion. Uh, what's the meaning? Libi Laba. Libi Libi Laba Laba. It's the our it's like, Libi Libi Laba Laba. laba, 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 laba that, that tongue, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's it. That's it. Uh, Kwame Dazi, there's nothing attached to it. That's it. Okay, so your, your, your concluding words before you, you, you take leave of us. What do you have for us? Your follow we are in church, but we love your music. Mm -hmm. Young people who are upcoming and want to be like you, what would you like to tell them? Um, young people who are upcoming and want to be like me, I just have five things to tell them. Mm. One, stay close to God. Stay close to God. Two, be hardworking. Hardworking. Three, don't give up. Don't give up. Four, don't sit down. Look for somebody for help. Don't sit down, look for somebody for help. And five, get close to God again. The man is a God person, oh. He's a God person. So stop looking at him as if um, he's some, yeah, we'll some demon who has just dropped from, you know. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I don't know the perception of if. Yeah, if yeah, yeah. Wow. If, if you complain about this, mm. then it is it is an offense to fall in love wherever you find yourself. If you complain about love music, say that again. Then whatever you found, uh, you, sorry, you fall in love. Blame yourself. Mm. Feel that you've offended God mm. if you complain about love music. Because mm. if you want to love, if you want someone to love you, mm. if you want to get married, mm. if, if, if you want to start a life and have babies of your own, mm. and you don't support love music, mm. but you love, mm. what is your problem? What is your problem? Thank you, my brother. You, it's been an awesome time here with Kwame Eugene. I have enjoyed it. This man is a man of God's own heart. Please look out for him. He says he's doing good music. He's not doing any evil music. You can perform that in church. Well, let the discussion go on. I'm sure from tomorrow, we're going to have that. If you are 30, it's an amazing voice, Kwame Eugene. May God richly bless you for these worship songs. Okay, awesome. So I'm closing with a song from Kwame Eugene, and he says, Heaven. Thank you, and thank you to all of you who called, who sent messages, and you welcomed us in your homes this Sunday. Next week, we are coming up again with another big bang. And I thank my team of producers, NYB, Derek, Mario B, Gabby Angels, and of course, Lady Pierce. And I had a special support from uh, Daniel Danso, you know, striking the keyboard for the man MP Nation. Thanks so much. And thanks again, Kwame Eugene. And have a very fruitful week. Thank you so much. My regards to Lynx Entertainment, man. Yeah.